Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we look at a pharmacist who used his connections to help criminals sell more than £1 million of illegal substances on the black market and has been kicked out of his profession. Balkit Singh Kahira used his connections as a chemist to order large quantities of prescription pills and flog them on to local drug dealers. The 38 year old had ordered 29,000 packs of diazepam, nitropam and tremador, zolpidem and zopiclone while working for his mother's business. Mr Kahira, who was from Sutton Coalfield in the Mess Midlands, confessed to five charges of supplying controlled drugs at Birmingham Crown Court and was sentenced to 12 months in jail. After he was jailed, a fitness to practice committee of the General Pharmaceutical Council got together and ruled that he will be struck off as a pharmacist. The committee heard evidence that Mr Kahira even pretended to be his mother in email to the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, also known as the MHRA, to try and put investigators off the sense of the crimes he was committing. However, Mr Kahira finally admitted his crimes when he was interviewed by police telling them that he was under duress from another employee who was working with criminal gangs to sell the drugs. The court was told how the offences had took place at the Kahira Pharmacy in West Bromwich. The committee also heard evidence from the court case in which Judge Heidi Kubik said in her sentencing remarks, these are very serious offences. You allowed five different types of addictive class C drugs to be diverted onto the black market in significant quantities. At least 29,000 packs were diverted with a potential street value of £1,052,000. The pharmacy was run by your mother for many years and your actions caused her to be arrested when she had done nothing wrong and her business and reputation had suffered as a result of your actions. When the investigation started in June of 2017, you responded pretending to be your mother in an email correspondence, trying to make the investigation go away and providing false figures and information to try and stop that investigation that was in its tracks. The committee also heard that Mr Kahira's personal benefit from the supplying drugs was almost £60,000. He told police he was under duress from employees at the pharmacy to order excessive amounts of Class C drugs and this employee was working on behalf of the criminal gang. In his plea before the Crown Court, Mr Kahira said that he had met a man at his gym in 2013 and they had became friends. The man then began working for the Kahira Pharmacy in 2016. The committee heard that the employee had asked Mr Kahira for a box of sleeping tablets as he could not sleep. Mr Kahira said he first refused but later gave in and gave him one box of sleeping tablets. Mr Kahira then went on to say that he was approached by three men who made physical threats of violence to him and to his immediate family. As a result of this, he allowed the pharmacy to supply the drugs due to ongoing threats and pressure. David Bleeman, the chair of the Fitness to Practice Committee said, These medications are controlled in order to protect the public and, once illegally supplied to another person, there is a significant risk that these potentially addictive drugs may have been used by people without input from a clinician and without genuine clinical need for the medication. Mr Kahira's illegal behaviour was so serious as to bring the profession into disrepute. This was not a minor conviction for a matter unrelated to the profession. This conviction involved the blatant abuse of privileged position of a pharmacist to divert large quantities of controlled drugs, therefore placing the public at risk. Mr Kahira's convictions are so serious as to amount to a major breach of trust. When he came under duress to supply the drugs illegally, his profession required him to report that concern, rather than to comply with the duress and subsequently gain personal financial advantage. Therefore, the committee have decided that Mr. Kahira's name is now banned from the register. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by Mr. Kahira? Do you think the sentences were too harsh or not harsh enough? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Street Crime UK content, 
please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can join us on the next video. Thank you for joining us today and until next time, stay safe.